As the dust settles from the thrilling finale of Gold Rush Season 14, fans of the iconic Discovery Gold Mining series are eagerly looking forward to what Season 15 might bring. While the network has yet to officially announce the next season, the strong performance and continued interest in Gold Rush and its spin-offs such as Parker's Trail, Headed to Brazil, White Water, America's Backyard Gold, and Hoffman Family Gold signal that the prospecting adventures are far from over. The mothership of gold mining shows is expected to make a grand return, much to the delight of its dedicated fan base. What's on the horizon for Season 15? The final episode of Season 14 left several breadcrumbs, hinting at the exciting developments to come. Among the most tantalizing prospects is the formation of four mining teams, which promises to ramp up the competition and the drama. Here's a look at what we can expect from these teams. Rick Ness's redemption, after overcoming personal challenges, including mental health and addiction issues, Rick Ness is back with Team Rally. Surpassing his 1,000-ounce goal in the last season, Ness has shown resilience and determination. However, Season 15 won't be smooth sailing. Ness and his team will need to do more than break even to enhance their mining operations. Parker's ambition, Parker Schnabel continues to impress, exceeding his ambitious 5,000 ounces of gold target by nearly 150%. With a whopping $15 million investment in Dominion Creek, Parker's strategic move eliminates the need to pay a hefty 20% to the landowner setting the stage for a potentially lucrative season. Tony Beats Challenges Last season was a mixed bag for Tony Beats. Despite resolving some water rights issues, the absence of his son Kevin significantly impacted his operations. With Kevin's return and a new resolve, the Beats family is poised for a comeback, potentially adding a fresh layer of father-son rivalry to the show. The fourth team mystery, season 14's finale teased the introduction of a new team, leading to much speculation. With Fred Lewis's team making an exit and fans expressing their desire for fresh faces, Kevin Beat stepping up to mine his claim could be the shake-up viewers are looking for. The prospect of a father-son showdown adds an intriguing dynamic to the upcoming season. Why fans are buzzing? Gold Rush has not only captivated viewers with the quest for gold but also with its compelling human stories of ambition, perseverance, and the occasional clash of egos. The introduction of new teams and the deep dive into the personal journeys of miners like Rick Ness and Parker Schnabel add layers of depth to the series, making each season more engaging than the last. As we await official confirmation and further details about season 15, one thing is clear, the Gold Rush fever is alive and well, promising more breathtaking landscapes, intense rivalries, and, of course, glittering prospects of gold. Stay tuned as we continue to follow the miners on their quest for riches in the wilds of the Yukon and beyond. With Gold Rush Season 15 on the horizon, the adventure is just getting started. As we stand on the brink of Gold Rush Season 15, the air is thick with anticipation. If the closing moments of Season 14 and the evolving dynamics among the mining teams are anything to go by, we are in for an exceptionally compelling season. The intricate blend of personal redemption, ambitious goals, and potential familial rivalry has laid a foundation that promises to elevate the series to new heights. The return of seasoned miners, coupled with the introduction of new blood and the tantalizing promise of untapped claims, suggests that the upcoming season will not only test the mettle of our favorite miners but also deepen our investment in their journeys. The allure of gold mining, with its highs and lows, triumphs and setbacks, continues to captivate audiences worldwide, and season 15 is poised to harness this allure like never before.